Bro, he's praying. What you mean? No, I know. That's what I said. He's praying. Oh, uh, I thought you said he was crying. No, I said that's what I thought. Ah. Uh. Ecclesia and Southwestern Adventist kicking things off here. Krishima, glad to be back with you. Game number two here of our doubleheader. Knights women winning the first one in a shortened affair by a score of five to one. Ecclesia coming in at one and five. Head coach Julio Moreno guiding his team here in Keene, Texas today. Knights looking for their first victory of the year. Southwestern and Venice is 0-3. Uh, last Friday they lost 6-0 at Southwestern Assemblies of God. Outshot 23-4 against that NAIA program. Meanwhile, Ecclesia uh, played last Friday as well. They lost 10-2 against Central C Christian. So both teams giving up a few goals this season. Uh, John... Navaretti, the keeper for the Royals, with an 11.87 goals against average, and Hernando Ponce, a 5.33 goals against average. So we could see some goals here today. Both of these teams hungry for a victory, uh, just one and eight combined as that ball played for uh, Hudson, who took a great shot. Then the header on the ricochet, and it's Alvera with the goal. So the Knights strike first as soon as I can get the words out of my mouth saying we might have a lot of goals here today. The Knights get on the board here in the second minute. So 1-0 just like that for Swayu. A great start for the Knights. We uh, saw the Knights last play Texas College here at home. And it wasn't a great effort, as you see the block there, first by Navaretti, and then the beautiful header there by Edgar Alvera, who scores his first goal of the season. Knight's looking for more, but that one comes up short of the uh, post that time. So, uh, as I was saying, we saw the Knights kind of uh, play a, a tough game against the NAIA. They've played a lot of scholarship teams, a lot of JUCO teams, but if you... Remember back to that game against Pensacola Christian, who is ranked, by the way, in the Division II NCCAA poll. Well, that was a 4-3 game. So it's going to be interesting to see here today uh, what this Knights team, I'm looking forward to this one, to see what they have in store for us. That's going to be a foul on Tarona's. So starters today, by the way, for Tristan Olvera in front of the net. I mentioned them already, Hikanaro. Ponce, also starting as number five, David Hernandez. Number seven, who scored the goal, Edgar Alvera. Number nine is Miles Morton. Number 10, Jared Hernandez. Number 17, Daniel Reyes. Number 25, Fernando Navarro. Number 27, Alejandro Avila. Number 31, Anthony Torones. Number 59, Eric Trejo. And Dwight Hudson, number 88, who took that first shot that was blocked by Navarrete leading to that heading goal by Alvera. Also getting the start here today. That ball played in. It's going to roll to Ponce who makes a play on it. So 1-0 already for the Knights. Uh, if you were with us in the very, very, very pregame, you know that uh, we were having some internet troubles. It's been that way today. Uh, we're on Wi-Fi at the field, I always like to uh, mention that, you know, it, it could go down, it, that, that could happen. It's 92 degrees and sunny, uh, technology and heat. There's also a lot of people on campus still. It's a Friday afternoon, so that uh, wears on Wi-Fi networks. Uh, just keep those things in mind. Here's Morton over on the far side for Swayu, looking to get the counterattack going, but nice defense there by Rodriguez for the Royals. Knights, some nice passing here in the fourth minute. Hernandez tried to turn on it, couldn't. Mendoza plays it to Perez. And then Flores turns it away. Avila, I'm not sure if the pass was off, if Navarro was off, or what was off, but Ponce comes out of the box to make a play on it. 
Now Avila sends it to the far side. Header by Morton. Looking for Alvera. Scored on a header of his own in the second minute. And pass is going to be deflected. And I believe it'll be a Knights throw. So good start for Southwestern and Venice. A lot of energy on this one. Uh, What's coming up for the Knights? Uh, Sunday they're going to finish that game at Cedar Valley that was suspended at halftime back on the 8th. The game was tied nil-nil. But outside of Sunday's conclusion, today starts a stretch of four of five at home. Final home games of the season, including on Tuesday, our next doubleheader against Arlington. Flores plays it forward. Oh, what a shot there by... Uh, I don't know who number nine is. I don't have a nine on my roster, so I couldn't tell you, but he took a heck of an effort there. <laughs> so six minutes in. And I believe we're going to have our first corner kick. First corner kick taken by the Royals, and it looks like it's going to be Cesar Cesar Perez, excuse me. Two goals and an assist on the year for Perez. As he chips it into the box, it's headed, but well above the crossbar. So seventh minute and a goal kick to come here for the Knights. Yeah, there's no number nine on their roster on their website either. Ecclesia fans, get at me. Let me know who number nine is. If you're out there. Trejo over on the far side, losing it. Nice footwork there, Hernandez. Hernandez trying to play it forward. Morton at center circle in a battle. Flores, Tellez, Perez. Now Tellez is going to get it back on a 1-2 here. Plays it to the right side. Hernandez is there. David Hernandez, that is, for the Knights. And we got a buffer. Oh, just a little one. Good. That's going to be a, it looks like it's going to be a throw in. Rodriguez for the Royals will take it here. Now he's going to give way, and the longest Perez Miranda comes up. Tovar on the far side. Perez Miranda chips it into the box. Nobody's home, though. Hudson is there, clears it away. Eighth minute. Ecclesia back on the ball. Aguiar. Now Mendoza. Tovar, or excuse me, that's Rodriguez. Perez Miranda back to him. Rodriguez plays it forward. This is Rodriguez as well for the Royals. Into the box. Flicked away that time by Navarro. Ninth minute, 1-0 to the Knights. A second minute header off a block shot uh, attempt. Hudson had the shot. Navarrete blocked it. It came right to Alvera who headed it into the back of the net. 1-0, Swayu. Hudson on the near side. Tellez. Perez. Tellez, the little power on that. I believe the offside whistle there. Flag was up. Aguiar was off. You can hear the wind whipping a little bit. 92 degrees, and it's pretty much all sun today. Ooh, Hudson tried to get cute with it. Perez goes back heel. Now it's Tellez. Hudson turns it away. That was a bad decision. The Knights mentioned it. 21 freshmen on this roster, and... Uh, they play the bulk of the minutes for Tristan Olvera outside of uh, 
David Hernandez, of course. Who am I missing? I think it might be, yeah, it's just David Hernandez in the starting lineup who's not a freshman. Tovar, Tellez. So after the goal for the Knights, Ecclesia has had the possession battle won. Alvera tried to make a turn, but it led him too far away from the ball. Navaretti plays it to Rodriguez. Near side, this is Aguiar. Is the flag down? If not, well, it rolls to Ponce, who lives dangerous. <laughs> he keeps you on your toes. But that helps when you can have a keeper who can do that under control because, as you can see, the counterattack on quickly for the Knights, although it fizzles out thanks in part to the Royals' defense. Those are the benefits. Tellez now, Perez, two on one here, not counting the keeper. Defense comes to help, but it'll be a shot and goal for our mystery person, whoever the heck number nine is, just leveled us at 1-1. One, one. Here in the 12th minute. There's my, please message me on one of those things and let me know who number nine is, Ecclesia people. So we're even Steven now at one apiece and you can kind of see as I alluded to just seconds ago, the momentum shifting a bit with more of the possession to the Royals after that first goal for the Knights. And now we are even, I expected this to be high scoring and so far we've gotten a lot of action. I don't think we'll see as much as we did in the first half of the women's game. They played nine versus seven in that one, and it was very much like a hockey power play game. Up and down in the first half, both teams kind of ran out of speed towards the end of the first half, and it was uh, a game that was called early in the second. So Hudson will throw it in now for Swayu, trying to answer right back after taking the lead and now conceding the equalizer here in the 12th minute. Tarones, uh, Sawin, or excuse me, that's Rodriguez who able to gain control of it. Nice sliding challenge, but the Royals stay on the ball here. Both teams play in the NCCAA. The difference is Ecclesia is Division I and Swayu Division II. And what that means in the NCCAA, basically the Royals can offer athletic scholarships. I think that that can sometimes lead you, mislead you into thinking certain things. Uh, just because they can doesn't mean they do for every sport. It's different by every athletic department and how that all works out, but it's just it's worthy of note. Basically a, a scholarship program against a non-scholarship program in theory and in theory only. Aguiar going to sell that call. Hudson trying to sell otherwise, and the official buys what Aguiar was selling. Better discount, better deal. Free kick for Tovar here in the 14th minute. All level at one apiece. Good action up and down here in this one. Krishima, glad to be with you. That's going to be headed by, uh, that was uh, our mystery person again. Number nine is Christopher Aguiar. Thank you, Nathan Ward. So, Christian Aguiar. Don't know if he's related to Yoel or not. But you're the man, Nathan Ward, out there on Instagram. Let me know. Thank you. Appreciate you. 
He did have the equalizer that came in the 12th minute. Tarones now. Top of the box, Reyes trying to play it in. And we got another whistle. So the foul's starting to rack up here for the Royals and a real good opportunity via a set piece with Tarones on the ball. Anthony Tarones, a goal and an assist so far the first three games this season, the freshman. Sixteenth minute. And he will try possibly to put the Knights back on top. Sent it low. Navaretti was not expecting yeah! it. And another deflection and another goal. This time it's Jared Hernandez. Yes, right His second goal of the season. And the Knights take a 2-1 to one lead just like that. We talked about it all the way back in August in the Pensacola Christian game when you're a young she team. And you can make the most of these set-piece opportunities. It's uh, really going to help lead to some victories. Yeah, Navaretti was not expecting it to be low. And a beautiful job by Hernandez to recognize and capitalize for his second goal of the year. So, two to one nights. Two teams that have allowed quite a few goals this year, albeit against NAIs, D2s, JUCOs. But we expected a lot of action today, and we're getting it. Here's Hernandez for the Knights. Now it's Torones. Tries to keep it in play and was able to get the shot, but tough angle there. Goal kick to come. 18th minute now. They're trying to hold off Chris Aguiar. Here's Perez. Some nice defense there, but Ecclesia still with the opportunity. Flores. He's going to play it back now. Tellez. Flores chips it in. Offside flag is down. This one trouble. This one's going to be an equalizer, and it's Perez. Cesar Perez, his third goal of the season, and just like that, it's 2-2. Two -two. In the 19th minute, four goals are ready. And for Perez, he matches Isaac De La Fuente. Now for the team's lead, both of those players have three goals on the season. So two to two. Jared Hernandez took the free kick to help give the Knights the lead, albeit briefly. Now it's Trejo on the far side, Reyes. Tellez, and that's going to be a, a throw, I believe. <laughs> Darian Perez Miranda with the quick toss. Some pressure here. Look out, Alvera disrupting things. Ecclesia able to settle down, though. Tovar plays it forward. 20th minute. Navarro will let it roll for a goal kick. If 
Final chances to see the Knights at home at least. Month of October, six of seven on the road. They start the month at Arlington on the 6th of October. The lone home match will be on the 9th of October. That'll be uh, Dallas Christian. And then there's an Adventist tournament. Tarona's has done a nice job today. Looking for a whistle there. The officials who have called it tight so far didn't bite on that one though. Nice header by Reyes. That was beautiful. Trejo over on the far side, Morton. Sends it into the box. Ah. And too much head on that one for Tarones as it goes back for a goal kick. <laughs> Boy, that wind is really picking up. You can hear it blowing in towards us. Knights now with Navarro. Nice header there by Rodriguez. And that one too far forward. It'll go out of play for a throw in here in the 22nd minute. They did uh, water breaks during the women's game. Got to think those are coming for the men as well. And if that does happen, it should be happening pretty soon. Jared Hernandez. Tovar. Alvera was there, through ball. Rodriguez is there for the Royals on that through ball. Coming up, Hudson. Tarona's has found his way to the ball several times already now. Yoeo Aguiar. Looking for Chris Aguiar, but instead Ponce off the header by Navarro, who recovered. That's going to be a free kick. Trejo hit the deck. So far side of center circle, he'll take it. 23rd minute, two all. As the uh, teams have traded goals, Knights struck first in the second. Both goals, oh, that's going to be an own goal there. Oh my goodness. Three to two, just like that, and a gift from Ecclesia to Southwestern Adventist there. Let's see exactly how that played out. Yeah, it was just, I mean, it's a beautiful header if you're a striker. It's a terrible header if you're a defender, and it's three to two nights on that own goal. So we got a water break after that goal. We're going to take a uh, timeout as well here in the 24th minute. Knights back on top. We'll step aside.
Welcome back, everybody. Three to two. Look what Mr. Fancy Pants Broadcaster did during the break for you. I got the clock. Now, this is my clock that you're seeing in the top right. It is not the official clock. That's mine, and it's probably a few seconds off that I have here at the home studio. Um, but I wanted to include that because why not? So three to two off that own goal right before the water break. Now the Knights looking for more. And it's been the Torona show so far today. Mendoza for Ecclesia trying to get on the ball. A little slip there by Navarro, but he's able to recover. Was there a handball? Was he out? What is the call there? It's going to be a throw for the Royals. Ecclesia 1-5, Knights 0-3. Oh We've seen five goals in the first 27 minutes of this one. Flores plays it back. Now gets it back from Tellez. Flores. Some nice footwork there, but taken on the entire team, and it's cleared away. Rodriguez will get there. Look out now, Navaretti way out of the box, sends it to the far side, and Trejo kind of climbed the back on that heading effort there, so. Looks like Perez will take the free kick. That's Jesus Perez over on the far side. And we got a little, little internet buffering there. It looks like it'll, well, I don't know. It looks like it's gone down, I'm seeing on the back end. So, okay, folks, we're going to step aside here so I can uh, let the folks know, and uh, we'll get the uh, game back for you here as quick as we can. Okay, folks, I think we're, we're good to go again. Again, if you are just joining us, we, we uh, stream on Wi-Fi and certainly better than what we were doing in August, but it's never 100% reliable, especially not in the middle of the day. I think we might have missed a goal, too. So I'm going to check with the folks at the field. Uh, those of you who are new to our broadcast, I'm calling the game from my home studio in Ohio. And Okay, so Ecclesia did tie it while we were away. 
So we are even at three apiece. Apologize, can't really give you any more information than that, but better than nothing. I know a lot of schools, it's, it's hard to do soccer. It's hard to do these outdoor sports because the facilities are usually not equipped for internet, but uh, They do what they can there. You got to give them that. But so we did miss a goal, even at three apiece. Now the Royals looking for more. Chris Aguiar, who scored the first goal, looking to get it back. Nice little chip pass by Perez, and that one was almost gave the Royals the lead. Navarro. That's me. Tarona's Hudson trying to run it down was Alex Hernandez who has come on for Tristan Olvera. Jared Hernandez now to Alex. And we got another, that was just a quick one it looks like. Yeah, internet's still okay. Six seconds. I believe that was Reyes who got the first header. Perez Miranda plays it back to Rodriguez for Ecclesia. Perez Miranda now. Near side, it's Tellez. Tellez trying to get it forward. Defense for the Knights doing its job that time, although it will be a throw in over on that far side. Okay, folks, give me one second here. Inside 11 minutes to play here in this one, and we are even at three. Six goals in the first half. I knew we'd have a high-scoring game. I didn't think defense would be completely optional, but that's the way it's been here today with uh, both attacking sides uh, on point. And uh, Knights getting a couple of goals off deflections. Ecclesia had an own goal that allowed the Knights to level things at three or excuse me, gave the Knights the lead at 3-2, to two, and then uh, Ecclesia leveled it a few moments ago. Perez Miranda, first of a back-to-back -back for the Royals. They'll be at Arlington Baptist tomorrow. These two teams are meeting for the first time since 2021. Royals won that one 2-1 in Keene. Ecclesia outshot Southwestern of Venice 19-3 in that one. Tarona's has had himself a nice first half. Hudson, now Jared Hernandez. Here is Reyes into the box. Navaretti will make the play. Mendoza, this is Perez, Flores. Oh, that was a pretty ball. Ponce gets there first, though. 
Just a little too much on that through ball by Flores. Another sub for Tristan Olvera is Carlos Oval. So number 41 is in for the Knights. Now Rodriguez gives way, and it'll be Perez Miranda with the throw in. Tovar. Trejo going to get there first. Well, actually, it's going to go for a goal kick. Isaac uh, De La Fuente, we have not seen him today for Ecclesia. Julio Moreno did not have him out of the lineup when he emailed me just a couple hours before the game, so I'm not sure why we haven't seen De La Fuente yet, but he's another potent attacker for this Royal side with... 4.7 shots on goal per game. He's fourth in Division One in that category. He's got six total goals on the season between him now and Cesar Perez. <laughs> 38th minute, and this is going to be a set-piece opportunity again for the Knights. That led to their second goal back in the 16th minute. Jared Hernandez off a deflection, off a free kick. Oval looks like he's going to take this one outside the box. So here comes Oval. Header is going to go the wrong way. I believe it was Navarro who got a head on it. Tovar trying to get the counter attack going. Flores with the referee ducking. Nice play there by Hudson. Still danger though. It's Chris Aguiar. Keeping hope alive for Ecclesia. Tovar into the box. And that should be a goal kick. I believe Hudson deflected it. Hagiari wants a corner, but that was clearly, well, what did the officials say? I mean, that should have been deflected off the Royals. Well, it looks like the official says no, so it's going to be a, a corner kick. So Royals in the 40th minute now, trying to take their first lead of the game. We've been level three different times. The Knights have led three different times. I think Trejo might have headed that, and that's short of the post. So now, for sure, a goal kick. Ponce, the win might have taken that, but Perez was the first on it, and we'll do it all over again. Deja vu. <laughs> Good response by both of these teams. Off for a week, Knights came off that 6-0 defeat at Southwestern Assemblies of God last Friday. Game they only managed four shots. They've already got three goals here back at home in the first half. And for Ecclesia, they lost 10-2 against Central Christian last Friday. Both teams spirited, uh, recognizing maybe that uh, this is an opportunity to get a win, to evenly match teams 
so far here in this first half. A couple of momentum shifts after the Knights went ahead in the second minute to make it 1-0. Ecclesia really dominated possession. Once they equalize, though, it's been really back and forth since that 1-1, uh, which came back in the uh, 12th minute. Treo now to throw. Oval. Couldn't do much with it. Nifty little play by Tellez. Sliding challenge by uh, Ray Garcia, who's also come in. Torones looking for him, left it short. Mendoza sends it forward for the Royals. Right back by Navarro, but that'll be out of play. 42nd minute. Nice run here by Perez. This is trouble if he's on side as he gets to the ball. Recovery there by Navarro. Terrific defense that time by Fernando Navarro who raced back. Tellez with Garcia on him, chips it. Cleared out by the Knights. So Knights will play that last 45 minutes at Cedar Valley on Sunday and then back for our second to last double header on Tuesday. Knights will then rematch with Cedar Valley coming up next Saturday. That'll be a sundown at 8 p.m. Knights with some nice passing here on this sequence as we wind down this first half. Oval gets the whistle. Avila going quick with the free kick. Trejo, now Reyes, far side Morton. Perez Miranda will make Morton throw it in here. Gives way to Trejo. Garcia the head, Trejo the head, and that's going to go for a goal kick. Another good run, Chris Argiar, and thankfully it goes wide to the left. So Chris Argiar, who scored in the 12th, almost gave his team its first lead here in this opening half. All level at three apiece though. Torones Oval now Garcia Mendoza some nice defense and that'll do it for the opening half a lot of action no results nothing decided after 45 minutes three to three We'll take time out for the half, come back, bring you all the second half action in just a little bit, so don't go too far.
Pretty good action in that first half as we're all tied at three apiece. Chris Sheeman, glad to be back with you. On to the second half we go. So the Knights scored the first goal of the game, a heading effort by Edgar Alvera for his first goal of the year. That was in the second minute off a uh, blocked shot. That was taken by Dwight Hudson. And... Uh, then in the 12th minute, Ecclesia with the equalizer. It's uh, Christopher Aguiare with his first of the year. 16th minute, Jared Hernandez, another deflection by the keeper, John Navaretti. Jared Hernandez put it in the back of the net for his second goal of the year. That made it two to one nights. Uh, in the 19th minute, Cesar Perez scored his third goal of the year. We were even again at uh, two apiece. And then in the 23rd minute, Royals defender with a header that went into the net for an own goal. That made it three to two nights. Ecclesia scored late in that first half, and we are even at three apiece here in this final 45 minutes. Knights looking for their first victory of the year. Ecclesia looking for its second of the season as David Hernandez plays it forward. 92 degrees and sunny at the start of this one. What a play there. Treo being aggressive. Sends it in to Alvera and he's got his second of the day as the Knights retake the lead here in the 47th minute. But that all started with Eric Trejo just being aggressive. Let's take another look at it here while we uh, reset everything. And you'll see this is just kind of lazy. And Trejo recognizes it. Set up Alvera, and Alvera spot on today. So four to three for the Knights now. <laughs> Let's see if Ecclesia can equalize. They have answered back every single time that the Knights have taken the lead. So we'll see if we have another tie in us here. And usually they answer back within a couple of minutes. Right now it's going to be a throw for Hudson and Swayu. They got to try to find Morton some more on these throws and, and into the box. He's so tall. Miles Morton's at 6'1". There's a couple other guys who are over six foot for the Knights, but as far as guys who get consistent minutes, Morton is tops of the tops. Tellez sends it to the far side, cleared away by Navarro. Zeus Perez tried to get fancy with it. Torones had it, then he, frustrated, commits the foul. 49th minute in the second half. Knights back on top, 4-3 to three against Ecclesia. It's been a good one so far from Keene, Texas. Got a lot on that free kick into the box. It's headed out, but here's Flores firing it. Oh, what a block, Ponce. My goodness gracious. That was a save of the year so far from Ponce. It's going to be a corner kick, and it looks like they want to go quickly. But I'm going to try to run this one back for you. That was a beautiful free kick to start. All right, we got to get back to live action. The corner kick goes over everybody's head, so let's 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 re restart this thing. Beautiful kick, nice header, and then just a ridiculous effort there by Flores, Ponce, save of the year to keep us at four to three nights. What a play! He's young, and sometimes he plays young, but you can see absolutely what he can be. <laughs> 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 
Morton gave chase there. Header now by Avila. And David Hernandez has to knock that one out of play as Yueo Aguiar was making things interesting to say the least there. Here's Tellez. Fifty first minute. You see the time remaining. Looks like we have a sub to start the second half. Dwight Alvarez wearing number seventy seven there in white. Hudson gonna be whistled. So Dwight Alvarez, he's from Minnesota. A lot of international players for Julio Moreno, the head coach. Players from Brazil and Ecuador. El Salvador. A lot of players from Brazil. That's the primary recruiting, international recruiting that Moreno has done has been in Brazil. A lot of local players, too, from Arkansas. Alvarez from Albert Lay, Minnesota. In for the first time. That one low. And a goal kick to come. So Knights holding fort so far, 52nd minute. Maintaining that 4-3 to three lead. Two goals today for Edgar Alvera. His first two of the year. Five different, well now, let's see. How many different players have scored for the Knights? It's been... And nobody's really stepped up to be that, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10 a season scorer, but it's been very balanced this season. So Alvera became the sixth different player to score a goal in the first four games for the Knights. Avila trying to send it forward. Played back and... Camera person and, and myself both thought that was going to carry a little bit further than it did. Sort of died in the air and the defense is ready for it. David Hernandez now. There is Treo on the near side. Sends that forward. Good run by Alvera coming out of the box is Navarretti. Header by Reyes. Knights would love a second goal. There's been no separation in this game. A second goal would be so like a breath of fresh air for either side. Tellez deflected, but Ponce no trouble with that one. 54th minute. These two teams meeting for the first time in a couple of years. Royals took the last meeting in 2021, two to one. Chipped by Tarones, but it's gonna be over the uh, crossbar. see a start of a back-to-back -back for them. They go to Arlington tomorrow. Knights are going to finish up the second half of that game at Cedar Valley that was suspended. So the second half will be played Sunday in the afternoon, I believe. That game was scoreless at the half. Slide by Reyes. Through ball by Jared Hernandez, a bit too far forward. Navarrete coming way out of the box. It'll be a throw for the Knights. So outside of that game on Sunday and including today's game, four of five at home. Final home games of the year going to be played in a relative string. We'll be with you again on Tuesday. Arlington will be here with us. Tarones, it's in play. 
Shot going to be low. It's sent up by the defense. Reyes got there first, sends it into the box. And Morton, I don't know if maybe he wasn't in a position to head that. That would have been a better decision, but tried to sort of side foot it. Didn't quite work out. Four to three still, Knights with the lead. Two goals from Alvera. Jared Hernandez with his second goal of the year and an own goal. Oh, oh, oh that's cool. <laughs> I mean that because that other guy said. Yeah. <laughs> Treo again. Who knows what he really said, but I know what he said. Header by Rodriguez for Ecclesia. This is Jesus Perez losing it to Jared Hernandez. Tarona's hits the deck, no whistle. Counterattack on momentarily. Quickly disrupted there by Navarro. Gotten some good left back, right back play for the Knights today. The defense has not been outstanding either way consistently throughout this one, but. Some bright spots there for the Knights out of the left back, right back spots. Treo. Here's Avila. Nice ball. Cantorona's chasing down. He could, but he couldn't quite get the right footing. And uh, that mistake will lead to a goal kick. 57th minute. You see the time left here in this one. Knights trying to get that first victory of the year. This would be a good momentum boost. Start of a busy eight day stretch where they will play, well, technically three and a half games. A little pushing and shoving there. It's getting chippy in this tight one. Jared Hernandez. Oh, they got fouled. He was fouled, evidently. I think it was Flores who. He's doing the initial pushing there for Ecclesia. Not much to it. Treo will take this free kick now. Here in the 58th minute. We've seen a lot on set pieces today. Oh, that one off the post and crossbar. Still opportunity. Jared Hernandez will play it back to Treo. Sends it back into the box. No, that one went over everybody's head that time. Okay. And a goal kick to come with a, looks like Alvera might have gotten shaken up, but he's up quickly. Sliding challenge there, and it's taken back nicely by Morton. And then Royals hit it out of bounds. So Alvera heads it left of the box. Here is Morton. By Perez Miranda draped around Morton. Fired low. That's going in. Reyes. Daniel Reyes has his first goal of the year here in the 59th minute. And there's the separation the Knights desperately needed. It's 5-3. Beautiful shot from about uh, 25 yards out there. And the celebration is on for the Knights. They now lead it five to three. Still plenty of time in this one and the defense at times. See if the Royals can get some of that momentum that they had in the first half for a Good 20-minute stretch there in the first half. Really controlled the possession. And they've kind of gotten sloppy. You see that pass to nowhere there. Just not really in sync right now. So let's see what Ecclesia can do to respond. They need to respond. And that's a bad ball that's going to be a quick throw in now for Treo. So another opportunity. Morton. Boy, Morton and Perez Miranda getting into it. I love the effort here from... Uh, Darian Perez Miranda against the taller Morton. 
61st minute. Rodriguez, the free kick. So I believe we have now three out of the five goals technically have come from set-piece opportunities, or at least started. Well, the set-piece started that last one. I'm not sure if it was a direct result, though. So now seven different players have scored for the Knights this season. This would be a, a nice win, too, for the Knights if they can hang on here. That's going to be the key with this young team. Keep the momentum. You see they're doing a nice job continuing the attack here. Jared Hernandez fires it. That's going in. Jared Hernandez with his second goal today here in the 62nd minute. And now it's 6-3. to three. Well, the Knights kind of put the punctuation on the point I was trying to make is they've come out strong and they're not sitting on this lead. This is poor keeping as well. I mean, the net's basically wide open there for Jared Hernandez, who's up to three goals on the season, two here today. And the Knights capitalizing. And now they have a comfortable lead. Now you can take your foot off the gas a little bit here if you're Southwestern in Venice as the clock becomes your friend. Ball into the box on one hop. Ponce takes a challenge. But as I started to say, this would be a great first victory of the year for the Knights. You know, that game against Pensacola Christian was in the bag. They had it, and, and it just kind of got away from them. And if you're a young team, you've got to learn how to close these games out, and that's exactly what the Knights are doing here this afternoon. They are handling their business. Jared Hernandez again. Here's Tarona's over on the far side. Gonna be flicked out there by Rodriguez for the Royals. That was Daniel Berg, Rodriguez. We did have a um, water break in the first half as Alvera gonna come out. Looks like some changes for Tristan Alvera. Number 36, Alex Hernandez has come in. Number 37, Juan Pablo Rodriguez has come in. Number 15, Liam Brown has come in. So a host of changes. Let's see if we got everybody. But if we do get a water break, that'll run a couple of minutes. The clock has not stopped for these water breaks. So that'll benefit the uh, Knights. Ecclesia needs to make something happen now. 65th minute, time is running out if you want to work yourself back in it. Beautiful play there by Reyes, who got bumped for his effort. Free kick, Avila now for the Knights. Avila with some space. Near side of center circle. He leaves it. Morton. Defender Rodriguez fell down. Now Morton into the box. Morton! Oh! Just a little too much on it. As Miles Morton just missed his first goal of the year. But it's all nights right now. This is a dominating second half from Southwestern at Venice.
Rodriguez sends it forward, headed by Treo. Perez on it for the Royals. Flores for Ecclesia. Sends it far side. Navarro got there first. Hudson on the far side. Does a nice job to keep it in play. Rodriguez for the Knights. Morton nearest us. Sliding play by, or by Perez Miranda, who's been like a gnat to Morton here today. Avila, Rodriguez. Juan Pablo Rodriguez sending it to Treo. Leaves it near side for Reyes. Fakes the cross, now takes the cross. Alex Hernandez tries to run it down, but it goes behind. It'll be a goal kick. Sixty seventh minute. Again, we might have a water break coming up here shortly. We had one in the first half. Reyes. Nobody there really to help him. Perez. Brown. This fresh front, uh, front line for the Knights. Kind of frustrating the Royals and trying to get the counterattack going. It's all energy for Swayu right now, though. With three goals here in this second half. And we're going to go to that water break that I mentioned. So this will benefit Swayu with the clock continuing to run. We'll take a quick break here for some water, get everybody hydrated and cooled down, and we'll be back to soccer here in just a little bit. That's me, Chris Shima. Glad to be with you as we're uh, back to live action now with the throw in here for Dwight Hudson. 
coming right to. They might have. Is that a different keeper? I think that's Luis Garcia who has taken over in front of the net for Ecclesia. It's not been a good day for John Navaretti. He's had a couple of block shots that ended up goals. Sort of wrong place, wrong time. A few of those as well. There was an own goal. Just not a great day. So I believe Garcia has taken over out of this water break. And the internet has goofed up on us yet again. Although, yeah, it's down at the field. Okay, folks, I got to step aside here and uh, get this situated. We'll get back to soccer here in a moment. Okay, folks, Ecclesia is trying to get some momentum. A nice defensive play there by Hudson and the Knights. Still 6-3, 74th minute. Hudson running out of room. and Mendoza on the far side. Clear it out. So Luis Garcia, the backup keeper, his second game of the year, he has a 4.64 goals against average this year. In out of the water break. Nice ball, Flores. And he leaves that one short. Navarro. Treo on the near side. Morton. Taken back by Perez Miranda. Alvarez will throw it in here for the Royals. Knights are 50, less than 15 minutes now away from their first victory of the year. Oh, 
opportunity really to get their second against a Juco on Sunday. If you're just joining us, Knights will play that second half against uh, Cedar Valley. That'll be Sunday at Cedar Valley. Then we'll see Cedar Valley on uh, Saturday, Saturday night. So those two teams going to play a game and a half in a week. Knights will also see a lot of Arlington coming up in about a week span, starting on Tuesday, and that'll be our next broadcast, our next soccer broadcast. We have Volleyball Monday. Chris Aguiar. Trejo again gets there to clear. Coming from behind, Liam Brown. Still chasing Tovar is Liam Brown. Jesus Perez. Mendoza. Back to Perez. This is Tellas at center circle. And we've got another buffer here. It looks like it'll come back to us here in a second. All right, folks, I think I might have to do something here on my end. Give me one second here, folks. We'll get it back up for you. Okay, back to action here in the 78th minutes. Yeah! And goal number seven, just like that. It's Alex Hernandez. Morton gets the assist. As Alex Hernandez scores his first goal of the year. Seven to three, it is all nights here in this second half. Let's see if we can take another look at that one. I don't know if I got it, but we shall see. Yeah, we did get it. That's a beautiful ball. Just well placed. Knights are putting on a show for the home fans, gonna get their first victory of the season. Here's Liam Brown. That'll be cleared out. Flores battling with Hernandez. Alex Hernandez. Flores had to slide to keep his footing, able to do that. Ecclesia, fortunately for them, they'll have a game tomorrow. When you have a second half like this, you want to get that taste out of your mouth. Nice block there, saved by Ponce. Chris Aguiar looking for his second goal here this afternoon. But if you're Ecclesia, you go play another game tomorrow, you can forget all about this one. The second half. This Knights team we talked about it in the meeting against Texas College that, you know, you're playing these NAIAs and you're playing these JUCOs and small colleges, you have to schedule who you can schedule. Uh, you know, it's, it's got a lot to do with travel. It's got a lot to do with proximity and, and you know, familiarity a little bit too. Um, so, you know, you schedule who you can schedule out of region. You want to play a tough schedule to, you know, get ready for region play. So... You know, getting those scholarship teams to come here is not always easy. So when you can get one, you know, you got to take advantage of that. Uh, getting JUCOs, you know, can certainly help your cause as well. It looks like there might be a new keeper. I think that's David Quevedo for the Knights as well. So Ponce, I don't think, is in anymore. I think that's David 
Quevedo. And I believe this would be his first appearance of the season. But anyways, it's the point I was trying to make before I noticed the keeper change is, you know, these are nice wins. You need to win the NCCAA games. The rest of them are games. You know, they're, they're, they're games to have, to get experience, to, uh, you know, get ready for these types of games. This is not a region game because the Royals are D1. But this is a statement victory. And had the Knights been able to hang on against Pensacola Christian, I mean, you're, you're really talking about the Knights in a very different context. If, if that game had gone, if a couple different bounces had gone differently. We have an injury timeout for Ecclesia. And it looks like it's going to be quick as Perez Miranda gets up. So we'll just briefly talk about the schedule once again as we have uh, four games or four dates for you next week. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Two volleyball and three soccer, including two men's soccer games. Uh, that Tuesday one is the big one against Arlington at 6 and 8 p.m. So some region games coming into play. And then the uh, Dallas Christian ones. Uh, later in October. Those are going to be the uh, next two big ones for Knights fans. Here's Oval. 7-3 to three Knights. And it's been so balanced this season. Nobody, Jared Hernandez has two goals today, so he has three on the season. Everybody else has two or left, so let's see. There's one, two, three. Sorry, I got to do this out loud, folks. Eight different players now who have scored at least one goal. Trying to make it nine, and Liam Brown just a little bit short here in the 83rd minute. Just couldn't quite get there in time. So both starting keepers are out. Ponce made the save of the year in the first half. He gave way to David Quevedo, who was Tristan Olvera starting to get some guys in. Ray Garcia being one of them there. Here's a shot that's well over the crossbar, but get some other guys some runs. So David Quevedo in front of the net now for the Knights is one save already. Vado comes all the way out. I'm pretty sure that's a, it's hard to tell. You can't, you know, that's, that's definitely Ponce standing there uh, in front of the bench. Okay, so it is Kivado. It's Sometimes it's hard to tell because the keepers don't have visible jersey numbers, but you can kind of tell the difference between these two guys. Collision there, look out. As Kivado, much like Ponce, living at the top or outside the box. Foul called here, going to be a free kick for Ecclesia. Royals going to fall to one and six when these final uh, less than six minutes tick away. But like I said, they'll have a quick turnaround to get the bad taste out of their mouth. They played fine in the first half. Gave the Knights a gift with a own goal, but their attack was much more fluid in the first half. It's been very disjointed. Credit the Knights for some of that as the uh, trainer out on the field. Uh, there was a player down for Ecclesia in that collision with Cavedo. And that's Chris Christopher Aguiar. So hopefully he's okay. Anytime they're grabbing at their heads, you, you never want to see that. I'll check them. Hopefully no concussion or anything like that. I just... It will, this will be a free kick here for Ecclesia. Into the box on the near side. 
Trying to put the moves on Tellez. Chips it in. So not much there. Here comes the Knights now trying for the counter attack. Knights still not sitting on this four goal lead. And Mendina has come in. Raymond Mendina, new defender. This one played to Brown, but the offside flag was up. Boy, they're trying to get Liam as first. This will go down. This is going to be a really good result here for the Knights. Rodriguez Brown will fire it wide to the left. Abel Ramirez has come in for Swayu, his first appearance. Eighty seventh minute. Knights and Royals winding things down here in this double header Friday. Hernandez, just a little bit too high on that one. Rodriguez. Now if you're the Knights, use this as momentum. Again, as I talked about that, you know, that game, you want to win every game, obviously, but that game, second half of the game on Sunday at Cedar Valley, not as important as keeping this momentum, today's momentum, into Tuesday against Arlington. That will be the first Southwest region game of the year. A little volley there by Flores, and Cavedo wants to pick it up. Bahena has come in. Jose Bahena. Trying to make sure we get everybody. Bahena, uh, I said Medina. This is Garcia. Nice ball to Oval. Oval, ball deflected and Tovar coming from behind. It's gonna be headed by Rodriguez, but Liam Brown came from behind on that initial deflection. As we go inside, two minutes left in this one. Rodriguez again sending it away. Battle at center circle for it. Uh, number 33, uh, the right back, Miguel Gonzalez, has come in as well in these closing minutes for the Knights. Who will have to defend a corner kick here. Looks like Perez for the Royals. Going to run down the ball and try to take this. Knights are going to go to 1-3 and three and 1-2 and two here at home. Start of a busy eight-day stretch. And starting it on a good note as Perez sends it in. That was headed by Navarro. Flores really couldn't get a clean hit on it. Mendoza. Tellez, 90th minute. And a foul going to be called here. The Royals will get another opportunity via the set piece to maybe try to make the score a little more respectable, if nothing else. I thought Christopher Aguiar was the player who left. He might have just gotten a quick look-see by the trainer and he's back out there or I had the wrong player. It's one of those two things. So last opportunity here probably for Ecclesia. Well, not, not necessarily as it's deflected out. It'll go behind. They're going to have to go quick here as time's running down. Quick throw in. Nagiar. Takes a tough angled shot. And that should just about do it for the first victory of the year for the Knights. Well, I've got my clock says zero and so does theirs. 
All Knights in the second half, they score four goals after we were tied at three in the first half, and Southwestern and Venice gets their first win of the year going to one and three, defeating Ecclesia today seven to three. Two goals for Olvera, two for Jared Hernandez. Daniel Reyes scores a goal, and so does Alex Hernandez, both of those players with their first of the year. As the Knights win it, 7-3, to three, we're going to be with you again on Tuesday, or excuse me, uh, Monday, volleyball against Jarvis Christian. Then our next soccer broadcast is Tuesday against Arlington. It's another uh, doubleheader that will be at 6 and 8 p.m. Thanks for watching, everybody. Once again, your final Southwestern Adventist Senate uh, 7, Ecclesia 3. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll talk to you again on Monday.